Did you know that you could edit video in Canva? In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit Zoom videos in Canva for YouTube. Hi, I'm Wonderful Ida, an educational video producer based in Vancouver, Canada. So I'm going to go into Zoom and I'm going to go into a new meeting. And in here, I'm going to want to record all my different parts of my video. So if, say for example, in this video, I am going to give you a tip on Zoom video lighting. So I'm going to start by creating my intro. So you want to record it to your computer because by recording it to your computer, the internet isn't taking up that much time to record as well and it's going to be faster. It's not going to be as choppy. So let's record to this computer. Did you know that you don't have to update your camera? Let's try that again. Mm, I didn't like any of those. Let's stop it. Stop recording. When you're recording, stop and starting and getting rid of all the things that you didn't use is going to be a lot easier when you're editing later. So let's start this again. Recording in progress. Did you know that you can increase your zoom video quality with lighting? You don't need to get a new camera. All you gotta do is improve your lighting. Perfect. There's my first video. And now let's uh, record the second one. Recording in progress. If your light source is behind you, it's going to be a lot harder to create quality video. Instead, you want to make sure that your light source is in front of you. Let's stop that. Recording stopped. And let's record it again. Recording in progress. Instead, you want to make sure that your camera is pos Instead, you want to make sure that your light is positioned in front of you. That will instantly increase your zoom video quality. There you go. So you saw that what I did is I stopped and I started rather than pausing because if I pause recording, what it's going to do is it's going to make it into one giant video clip. But if I stop and start, it's going to separate them into all these clips. So you can see here, I have five clips. These first two were mistakes. And then this third one is where I actually did the intro. Let's just double check. Nope. This one is the right one. Did you know? There we go. Did I like this one? Let's just make sure I have all of the clips. So now I want to import those clips into Canva. So in Canva, you're going to click on video and it's going to start making you a video. And you're going to want to upload those video clips. So I'm going to go into upload, upload files, and then I'm going to find my Zoom files. Your meetings are stored by date. And then I'm going to want to import those video clips where I did it correctly. So you can just preview them. I don't think I got it on that one. There we go, I got on that one. And then the last one. So I'm just gonna want to command and select the clips that I want to import, import those clips. And it's just going to take a while for it to import. The longer the video clips are, the longer it's going to take you to actually add it. And by separating them into the separate clips in Zoom, it's gonna make it a lot easier for you when you're editing it now. So here are my three clips. So because I have three clips, I can add three different blank pages for them because I know I'm only trimming the three clips. So let's start with, which one's this? Instead, you want to make sure that your camera... This is my third one. Instead, you want to make sure that your light is positioned in front of you. So what you want to do is you want to decide how big that video file is going to be. If it's going to fill your full screen, then just fill your full screen on it. And you can see that if I play this, Instead, you want to make sure that, that my mistakes are still in here. Instead. So to trim this, I'm going to press the scissors up here you in the corner. Sure that your light is positioned in front of you. That and I'm going to trim the I mistake. Make sure that Instead, you want to make sure that your light is positioned in front of you. That will instantly increase your zoom video quality. There we go. It ends there. Instead, you want to make so I just sure want to drag that end. Instead, you want to make sure that your light is positioned in front of you. That will instantly increase your zoom video. Insta Instead, you want to make sure that your light is positioned in front of you. That will instantly increase your zoom video quality. Instead, you want to Perfect. Make sure that that one's good. 
let's go to the second one. Which one's the second one? That's this one when I flipped it. So I'm going to drag that in and I'm going to collect this clipping. There we go. And now let's add that first one. So we're going to add that to the first one. This is the first clip. I'm going to stretch it out. There we go. First thing you're going to be doing is you're going to be figuring out you've got that audio down. So I know exactly what I'm going to be saying and I know that my audio is set. Once your audio is set and you know what you're going to be saying, you can start to think about how you're going to have that video show up. So you can see here in the bottom corner of this video, you can see my name, Wonderful Ida. I can zoom in so I can crop that out so it's not going to appear. So I'm going to zoom into all these clips. I can adjust them how I want to. Let's see, it's in the middle. Let's click on it. Let's zoom out. There we go. So I'm not going to have that watermark. It's not going to show that wonderful Ida on it. And then now I can start to get creative. So I can go into the beginning of my video and I can start adding different things. So did you know that you can increase your zoom video quality? Let's say I want to add a zoom logo. So if I go to elements, I can add zoom. I can add this anywhere I want on here. I can even animate it how it comes in and then I can animate it if depending on the animation style you can change if it's going to animate when it comes in so at the beginning of the clip and out or if it's just going to animate when it comes in and then sometimes you can change the direction it's going to animate in. So say I have this animation set but say I only want it to appear when I say zoom. So to do this, I'm going to need to make this into two different clips. I'm going to want to click here where I want it to clip. I'm going to click on here and I'm going to split the page. Can increase your zoom video quality. And I can go back to the original one, get rid of that zoom. Did you know that you can increase your... And let's preview that. You can increase your zoom video quality with lighting. Let's say we want that zoom to disappear right here. You don't need. With the you don't need. And let's add another split. So we're going to click on that and split. Or I can press S. And then I can go to the new one and get rid of the zoom logo. Let's say I want to write improve your lighting. Improve your lighting. So improve lighting there. So I can do another split. So I can press S to split that there. All you gotta do is improve your life. So I'm gonna go to text and I'm gonna add my text. Now with this, I can design it however I want it to be. So let's say I want it to be a different color and let's add a background to it. There we go. I can change the intensity of this. Oh, that looks cool. Improve lighting. And I can even add animation to this so I can have it type out. So I can go to animate, let's do typewriter, improve lighting. So now let's preview that. Your camera, all you gotta do is improve your lighting. If your light source is behind you. You can see that it animated both in and out. If I click on this, cause it went in and then it went out, I can just have it on enter. So that means, look at this, when I watch that. What you gotta do is improve your lighting. If your light source is... What else I can do is if I click on these pluses, I can add a transition between them. So the plus in the bottom is like transition, and these are the different transitions that it allows me to do. Oh, this one's interesting. I can change the duration of that transition, and let's preview what this looks like. Your lighting. If your light source is behind I like that. Another cool thing you can do is you can add effects to the video itself. So you can make the video look a little bit branded. And to do that, you're gonna want to go into elements and add a square. So I'm gonna add a square and I'm going to stretch out the square so that it fills my entire frame. 
Then, I'm going to, as I click on the square, I can click the three dots here that's going to give me more option. And then my transparency, I just reduce that. So you can see, I can add a little look to it. So it's already, when I play that, let's press play. Instead, you want to make sure that it's going to give a cooler look to it. So I can change my color. Let's see. I can make this brighter, darker, or brighter, different color, different shade. This allows you to add some branding into your video as you're doing it. So let's add this, let's add it to the rest of the pages. The best thing about this is you can add other elements into it too. So if I add a new page, I can slide it to the beginning. I can even use one of these templates that they already have. Let's see. I can even separate these words. Let's like separate these a little bit. There we go. Add a background color here. Look smaller and I can position it differently. There we go. I can animate this. Let's do that. Um, let's see which one do I like. Oh, that one's cool. Let's do that one. Click on it and now I can have it on both the entrance and the exit. I suggest for most of them, you just have it appear on the entrance. And then what you can do is you can have a transition between the ends. So I can sh make this clip a little bit shorter and then use the plus sign, add a transition. Let's do the dissolve. I don't suggest doing this with really long videos. If the video is really long, it's going to be really hard for you to split and make this work. However, if you do film it as short clips and then only pick the ones that you want to use and put them in here and then start adding extra stuff to it, then it's going to be a lot easier for you to do it. And then once you're done with all this, I really suggest adding a title to your video because it's just going to be easier for you to find it later. So increase zoom video quality and then when you're done you're just going to go to share download and you're going to download it as an mp4 with all the pages and it's going to convert it into a video for you now that you know how to edit the video here are some more tips on how to film in zoom and remember messy action is always better than no action until next time peace <laughs>